Well, the poll numbers mean absolutely nothing, Alex, and it's time we put them in the background. Polls can tell you one of three things, that candidate X is ahead uh, substantially, that candidate Y is ahead substantially, or that it's too close to call and it's a toss-up. Guess which category this election is in? Three. So forget about them. At this point, with you know, 15, 16 days left until the election, they can only change so much, a point or two in this direction or, or that one. We've all forgotten the basic lessons of polling, which is when a result is within the stated margin of error, and the real margin of error may actually be double the stated margin, then you just put them to the side. So let's stop talking about polling to the extent we can, except uh, only after this segment is over. <laughs> All right. So give me a sense of what your crystal ball is saying about the presidential race right now in terms of why this race is so close. It's so close because you have very contradictory feelings in the electorate, but they see him as change from the current president, Joe Biden, and the current administration, Biden-Harris. The other candidate, Kamala Harris, uh, it's a matter of her having been handed the mantle uh, in August. She's only been a candidate for a couple of months. People have gotten used over the years to learning about candidates in small increments over six months, a year, a year and a half. And they don't know as much about her as they'd like to know. They're learning more day by day, but they still don't have enough. So it's a matter now of measuring uh, the two candidates. The voters need to measure the two candidates. And uh, yes, we all know what the standard issues are in this campaign, but another one has been added by Donald Trump, which may dominate the remaining 16 days, which is, um, how sane is he? How sane is he? Is he really unhinged? He certainly does appear that way uh, in many of his presentations. He's, he's always done weird things. But in the past couple of weeks, uh, he has not only gone around the bend, he's gone off the tracks. And so there's a new issue, and it's bubbling up, and it might actually have an effect. Hmm. Uh, last question re relative to the Trump campaign, which has been gaining some ground in the blue wall states, and the support from non-college-educated men seems to be the big push there. Who seems to have the clearest path to 270 at this point, Larry? Oh, I don't think either one of them has a clear path to 270. Hmm. As we said for months, and I know Steve Kornacki said this, I've watched him say it repeatedly, the most important states are the three blue wall states, and they are. And if Harris can sweep them, if, 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 three ifs, if she can sweep them, she very probably will win because she's going to get that uh, one electoral vote in Nebraska. I was there recently. It's clearly in her in her column. Uh, as far as uh, Trump is concerned, uh, he really only needs one of the blue wall states as long as he can win North Carolina, Georgia, Arizona. I think Nevada may be leaning uh, to uh, Harris, and I don't think the others are necessarily leaning to him.